Jesus saves Joe and slaves. The Bible says, but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't wait for you to join a church, get your, right, your life right. He said, while you were a sinner. He didn't wait for you to get baptized, be a good person. While you were a sinner, Christ died for you. Much more than being now justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through Him. You want to miss His wrath? Trust in His blood. You want to face His wrath? Trust in Job. Trust in your church. Trust in anything but the blood of Jesus Christ, and you will face His wrath. You can bet on it, buddy. That's what the Scriptures say, that He sent His love while you are a sinner. Why? Because you need a Savior. You need a Savior. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is not Joe Smith. It's not Joe Smith. Joe didn't shed His blood for you. Joe did not die on the cross for you. Jesus Christ died for your sin. Absolutely. You need to repent of your phony Mormonism. You need to repent of your phony repentance. Repent of your dead works and your dead faith. Jesus Christ came preaching in Mark 1.15 and He said, Repent and believe the Gospel. You need to repent and believe the gospel. Stop this. Repent, recycle. Repent, recycle. Repent, recycle. You can't get it right. That's the problem. You don't choose the right. You choose the wrong. You Mormons always choose the wrong. That's why you're always repenting. Real repentance, according to Mormonism, is to forsake your sin. When are you going to start? You're supposed to deny yourself of all ungodliness. All. A-L-L. -L. When are you going to start, Mormon? Your gospel does not work. You don't even know the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You trample the blood of Jesus Christ under your feet, under your good works. You need to repent of your phony good works. You need to repent of the best you can do, because God said that all your works are as filthy rags in God's eyes. God is holy. You're not. You're not a God in embryo. There's one true God. You're not Him. God says that your sin and iniquity has separated between you and your God. He has turned His face from you that He will not hear you. God has turned His face from you that He will not hear you because of your sin. And you got no solution to your sin problem, Mormon, because you choose the wrong. You choose the evil. Sin and repent. Sin and repent. Sin and repent. Sin and repent. And then, presto, you become a god. Sin and repent. Sin and repent. And someday you're going to become a god. It doesn't even make sense, Mormon. Repent. Believe the gospel. Repent of your phony repentance. Repent of your dead works and your dead faith. You need the Lord Jesus Christ. It's only through the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses all sin. And you need a cleansing. Trust Jesus, not Joe.